Welcome to the Nightly News. It's the Friday Free For All. And Ted, yesterday, you had a great question about the 13-hour movie. Um, you know, Mark Geis was there on the rooftop in Benghazi. We're, we're uh, remembering 9-11-2001 and 9-11-2012, where the U.S. government abandoned the oath to the Constitution and abandoned their own citizens in Benghazi. And Mark Geist and some warriors were able to improvise, adapt, and overcome. And uh, they got the ambassador's body out and, uh, and the, the heroes that gave their lives for our freedom in that hell zone over there. And we saw the movie 13 Hours. And I asked yesterday, and I'd like Mark to tell us, um, how accurate was the depiction of what you experienced in Benghazi in 2012 on September 11th? Was it represented reasonably well in the movie 13 Hours? You know, it was, Ted. Uh, it was, you know, it was a, the process of getting it made was, was, uh, was difficult, of course, because we had to get the book done. And it took the, uh, we sent it in for review. It took them, I think it was nine months to review it, to read it. 500, 600 pages. Uh, and uh, then, uh, you know, that turned it, then we ended up with uh, pitching that to make a movie out of it. And a lot of the uh, movie companies out there all wanted to hear about it. They loved the idea of it. But then there was only one that really stepped up and came back at us, and that was Paramount. Um, and really, I think Paramount did it only because of Michael Bay. Michael Bay, um, you know, he's made some great, great movies with the Terminator series with Men in Black. Um, and uh, he wanted to make this movie because he loves this country. He has a love of the military, uh, you know, and, and he wanted he put a bunch of his money up in it as well. But then he flew us out to uh, to Miami to have dinner with us because he wanted to meet us in person and talk about what his thoughts were and uh and when he was kind of starting to tell us uh, what he wanted to do, and I had to interrupt him because, you know, when you make a movie, when you sell your book and you sell your life rights, basically I'm giving them permission to depict me however they want to make money, you know. Um, and, and that was a big leap, you know. And, and, I, told, and, and I told Michael, because, you know, I, we did this because we believed the story um, had to be told and it had to be seen. We had to reach the people to see it because the politicians out there were telling the story, their version of it, trying to put their spin on what it was. And, you know, and what, what happened there, truthfully, is not about politics. What we wanted to do was show what Americans are doing to defend this country, what it's like to be in that environment and, you know, how that how how together as a team you can overcome tremendous odds. And I think the book talks about that. And I think the movie was depicted it, you know, and, and Michael Bay said, you know, I told him, I said, Hey, I know I signed my life rights away. You can depict me however you want. I don't care if you put me in a pink bunny suit running around trying to beat people up with a foam bat. But if you do anything that freaking disrespects Ty and Glenn, I'm going to beat the living <laughs> out of you. And he says, Oh, you, Oz, you don't have to worry about that. And I'm like, Michael, I'm not <laughs> just so you understand. And uh, he kind of looked at me and he understood where I come from at that point. And uh, me and him had a great relationship. I mean, one of us was on set um, for about 40 of the 70 days that it took to shoot it. And, uh, you know, when we first went over and we were on, when I was on set, I mean, the annex, the consulate looked a little bit different, um, at least the whole layout, because they had, it was restricted on where, you know, on how they built that. And, and, and one, well, one question I'm sure is going to come up is where did they film it? And that was, we filmed it in Malta, which you couldn't have figured out a better place to fit, to film it because Malta is the last year Christian holdout against the Muslim hordes back during uh, the dark ages. Um, and it's still Christian to this day. Uh, and uh, it's a great place to visit, great place to do movies, but the annex, they built it exactly as it was except it was a third smaller. So when we walked on set there, it was like moving. It was like going back to that time of when that happened. Um, so Any, anything in the movie that was sensationalized? Uh, yeah, there, you know, because it, it, it wasn't a documentary. I mean, it is. And, you know, and me and Michael had this conversation because there was after the second firefight, 
at the annex. Um, if everybody remembers the bus bomb, they had brought that bus in and they were taking this big bomb off there. Big old explosion and all that, you know, that didn't happen. Um, and, you know, and I asked Michael, why were we going to have that in there? And he's like, well, I'm, I'm trying to build up anticipation for the ending that's to come. I want to keep people's butts in the seat. <clears throat> and the way he loves to tell stories is slowly building that anticipation up. And everybody knows by the time that second firefight happens, I mean, you could, and everybody's already at least somewhat familiar through all the, either the book or the news reports of what ended up. So you knew something bad was happening. So by him putting in that bus bomb, it just kept everybody's butts in the seats. And they're sitting there thinking, hey, man, if that's what happened here, what the hell else did they go through? I've got to stay and see the end. And that's his way of trying to make sure people, people watch the whole movie and understand everything. And, uh, but you know, it was indicative, even though with some of these, some of the changes like that, it was still indicative of, of showing what happened and the stress and the, and, and, you know, the odds that we were up against that night. And, uh, you know, and, and it was the odds of the enemy, but it was also the odds of not getting any help, you know? Um, and then what really kind of pissed us off was, uh, uh, they tried to sell it to the people out there, the American people, that they, they couldn't get anybody there in time, you know? And it's like, okay, if you can't get them there in time, then that means that you knew when the end was coming or you just didn't care. Or you're just flat out, out flat ass out lying. Okay. General Ham got relieved of duty because he was going to send troops. There was a, <clears throat> deputy wing commander or deputy unit commander up in Aviano, who I've found out since who got, who was supposed to get promoted to a full bird colonel and supposed to take over command of the um, Thunderbirds. Whatever he did that night, they didn't give him his promotion and they didn't give him his command. I found out later I was uh, at barefoot country music fest, which is in uh, Wildwood, uh, New Jersey. And I, I tell you, I do got to give a shout out to the southern part of New Jersey. I never knew there were so many rednecks you know, on the East Coast, but uh, there are some great patriots there. I've never seen so many damn red flags. We had about 60,000 people there, and I was backstage talking. This young kid come up to me, and he says, you know, me and you got something in common. And this kid had to be like maybe 20 years old, and I'm like, okay, let's hear this. You know, what story are we going to go down? He says, uh, I was on the flight line in Aviano on September 11th, 2012. And I'm like, okay, Lord, you put this into play. And I asked him kind of, hey, okay, what happened? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm like, did they launch birds? And he's like, he said, yes. And then once they did, they shut the base down and they had to go fully secured. Um, and, I'm guessing putting two and two together and coming up with four is that 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 deputy wing commander, that guy that didn't get promoted and didn't get his command, had actually launched aircraft to come help us. And uh, and then it got shut down. And that's because he did that, went above and beyond to sacrifice his his rank and his future to help save American lives. Um, you know, and 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 I've had so many people, I mean, you know, this is if we couldn't have got U.S. troops there, we have allies there. I mean, you're only two, three, four hundred miles across the freaking Mediterranean from Italy. I mean, come on. If you can't get aircraft, if we can't, I mean, they got us two drones. They had a drone over top, and that one was about ready to run out of gas, so they brought another one in. But you can get a drone there, but you can't get freaking troops there. I mean, hell, I my flight getting into Benghazi, I flew out of um, – New York City at JFK, and it was less than 13 hours before I got there on a commercial flight. And that was with a layover in Turkey. So that just really kind of rubbed us raw the whole time is that whole thing. Unfortunately, well, the government is untrustworthy. Well, Ted, we're about out of time today. We've got one more day this week. Um, I would like to have Mark come back, and I want to hear Mark's. I know you hate the question, why? But I want to get his why, and then I want to get I want to wrap the week up with uh, Ted Nugent's take on, you know, not only 
what went on at 9-11, the original 9-11 Benghazi, but I'd like you to wrap it all up for our listeners tomorrow night, Ted, in 2023, and why we are really kind of in the midst of that as we sit here in 2023. Tomorrow night, we'll finish this up on the weekend edition of The Nightly News. See you guys then. Hey, fans of The Nightly News, you're invited to a free two-day conference that could change your life, but you have to act fast. The Learn to Live Conference is September 22nd and 23rd in Kansas City, Missouri. You'll learn how to create balance between your body, mind, and spirit through God's help. Write down this website, jodygrace.com. That's J-O-D-I-G-R-A-C-E.com. Go there now for more information and to register for free right now.